What's poppin' everybody? Said Rule 24. So instead of making a couple of videos, I just thought I'd make a general video with my thoughts on E3. And it's mostly gonna be focusing on Nintendo and Sony, what those guys did, and what they didn't do. I mean, for the other publishers and developers, EA, of course, I don't give a fuck no matter what they do. Uh, Bethesda, not so much. Ubisoft, not so much. Uh, Square Enix did have uh, uh, Kingdom of Hearts 3, of course. Uh, that is a very impressive, strong game when it's going to come out. Uh, they've only made a... It's the third one, of course. Only made a couple. Crossover series. Very, very cool. Uh, they didn't really show much either, though. Uh, just a bunch of trailer stuff and not really gameplay footage. I mean, their presentation was really small in general. Didn't even show anything for Final Fantasy VII Remake. What's going on with that? But, yeah. Uh, for Sony and Nintendo, Sony wasn't all that much either. I mean... Uh, there's a guy called Mystic. It's a Sony PlayStation kind of specific channel focusing on that. And, you know, he's kind of cool. I watch him sometimes. Uh, he really said some stuff, and I kind of agree, is that PlayStation 4 is kind of coming to its end. Even if, it, even if it has a couple of years in the market left, they're going to support that, of course, and shit. Uh, they did their strong first-party games. I mean, God of War just came out recently. You know, they, just, they were just finishing it up with this one. Maybe there's going to be some stuff on the PlayStation X, a uh, specific event for PlayStation stuff. Uh, that's what he said too, but uh, maybe not. But they, they're kind of wrapping things up. Wrapping things up. Uh, they did have, of course, some surprises. Uh, Resident Evil 2 and uh, Nio 2, you know, cool stuff. Not really for me, Resident Evil 2, but, you know, I know a lot of people, of course, love Resident Evil. Ghost of Tsushima, that's actually... The game that really caught my eye. I really like that. I really feel like I'm going to dig that kind of ninja samurai kind of game. It's probably not going to be like Ninja Gaiden. You know, that's my style. Fast-paced action game. But it looks really cool. I really liked everything that I saw uh, from the combat. You know, the, the graphics and shit. They look pretty, pretty cool. I mean, between Nio 2, Ghost of Tsushima, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, uh, that's going to be coming from software. Uh, Samurai Ninja shit is getting a lot of love. Uh, they're getting a lot of love. So, you know, that's that's cool. And other than that, I mean, that's it. I don't think Sony did anything else that really caught my eye. Any sort of game. I'm very selective with my games as it is. So, a lot of E3 and a lot of these events, I'm just viewing it sort of... Uh, uh, just to view it, just for curiosity and shit. Of course, I don't give a fuck about EA, uh, Ubisoft, Bethesda maybe a little bit. You know, most of the games that they come out, I don't really care that much. Now, Nintendo. Now, Nintendo, I think I have a bunch of things to say for them. Now, Nintendo's event was... It was okay. I didn't really check out the Treehouse stuff much, just for Smash Brothers a little bit. But from what I understand, you know, they, they have a bunch of cool stuff, but a lot of the stuff is stuff that we kind of knew, like Octopath Traveler and things like SNK Heroines. Of course, I'm very interested in that. But that's a game that's coming for the PlayStation 4 as well. It's not really an exclusive. Super Smash Bros., of course, was the star, the main thing of the show. You know, they showed a new game, some robot, Gundam shit, uh, Full Metal Panic stuff, whatever. Mecha stuff. Uh, what was it called? A Deimos Machina, something like that. Uh, these games aren't exactly for me. Uh, they didn't really show... They didn't... Not really. They didn't show anything about the... 2019 Pokemon game on the Switch. Now, I watched the video a couple of days before E3. Uh, I forgot the guy, I don't remember, but I liked this video. Had some sort of racing game, special sort of racing game in space sort of thing as background. And he talked about how he was really certain the new Pokemon game, they were going to show some stuff, announce it at least, on the C3. And um, I was thinking, I was kind of convinced, yeah, you know what, maybe, you know, that's true. Maybe it could be wrong, but maybe that's true. But then after I saw that shit, I was like, you know what, uh, even though they've kind of uh, announced Pokemon, Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee before E3, that was kind of at their E3 game anyway. They, they showed up a little, a little more, uh, Reggie talked about it, and of course they showed a lot of gameplay on the Treehouse footage. But, you know, it makes sense actually, after I thought about it, because... You know, they want us, no matter what they say, whether the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is casual, they want us to buy that shit. They just don't want us to skip over it and get 
just the 2019. They want this game to sell too. So naturally, they're just going to keep that, uh, have the spotlight on that as the Pokemon game. Because if they just announce sort of like two, if they just announce the main Pokemon game, if they announce that, uh, the spotlight will be on that. People just wouldn't care that much about the Kanto remake Pokemon game. Uh, so I think it was smart. It, make, it makes sense now that I think about it. And it's rather sad. But, I mean, I guess if we count uh, that, if we ignore that it got released, they announced it, you know, before E3, I guess they had that as well. So, all right. You know, they had that Pokemon game. You know, they had some shit for Pokemon. Next Pokemon game on the Switch. All right. And now for Smash Brothers. Smash Brothers. I have never really played a Super Smash Brothers games in my life. I've played the demo for the 3DS. I downloaded that. Thought it was really cool. And I've always I've always wanted to try the series because I know that it inspired a lot of cool fighting games. Uh, there's no fighting game quite like it, but it inspired a lot of uh, fighting games that play kind of like Smash Brothers. Like I'm a big fan of the uh, One Piece Grand. Grand Adventure and Grand Battle for the PlayStation 2. Probably nobody gives a fuck about them. But I know that fighting game is really good. I want to get into it, hopefully, someday. Maybe it's going to be <laughs> this one on the Switch. But I'm really disappointed because they... Yeah, they announced all the characters. All the characters are going to be coming from the previous Smash games. I'm pretty sure that's, of course, cool. But come on. They have to put Simon Belmont on there. I can't believe they didn't uh, include that character... Even now. I mean, Mega Man has been there for a while. And Mega Man and Castlevania, they're this sort of NES uh, series that they weren't exactly first party on the original uh, Nintendo Entertainment System. But they're kind of like, you know, these OG IPs that sort of really have a lot of significance on that system. And a bunch of Mega Man games come out and a bunch of Castlevania games and then on the NES. So I don't get it. They've shown Mega Man love and they've shown... There's so many other franchises that are featured. You know, Castlevania should have been uh, one of those. I don't know. Maybe it's just Konami. They have to make a deal with them sort of thing. So I don't know. What the fuck? Maybe it's their fault. But either Alucard or Simon Belmont, I guess, which is the Nintendo Castlevania guy. They should have included that. So that was a little bit disappointing. But they really showed a lot of uh, footage from that. A lot, uh, showed a lot of the character mechanics and moves and how stages are going to be and the differences and stuff. I mean, it kind of seems like it's uh, Super Smash Brothers from the Wii, Wii U 2.0. But I feel like there's going to be a big enough difference already that it's like a whole new game. Uh, it's going to be your ultimate sort of... Uh, a Super Smash Brothers package. It's it's called Ultimate, and I think it's a perfect it's a perfect name for that. So that's basically it. Nothing much else uh, for me. I guess Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, Ghost of Tsushima. Those are games that are interesting for me. Super Smash Brothers. I really enjoyed seeing all the stuff that I saw from that. Hopefully, when I get a Nintendo Switch, I mean naturally it's gonna be a game I'm gonna pick up 100% for that. Get into Super Smash Brothers finally. Uh, the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, I said that I might get that, but, but from everything that I'm hearing, it just seems like it's it's not for me. They're doing everything that I don't want them to do in a Pokemon game, making it sort of easier, holding your hand even more. I'm pretty sure it's not going to have a lot of the cool competitive stuff like Battle Frontier and shit. I mean, they've even done some shit like, for you to access like Brock's Gym, you need to have a Water or Grass Pokemon. So it's like they don't even let you get your ass kicked. They're not even going to let you sort of lose and face hardship. So I don't know. I don't think that game is for me. I really don't care at all about the Pokemon Go mechanics and shit. And wow, the, the peripheral Pokeball thing. That's uh, $50, 100 uh, No, it's not $50. Or I think it's, yeah, $50. Fucking expensive. Anyway, but I really don't care about that. I might just have to skip over it. Man, it's going to be the second Pokemon game in a row that I'm going to be skipping over because I didn't get Ultra Sun and Moon either. And that's very impressive for me. This is like the first time in my life that I'm actually skipping a Pokemon game and then skipping another Pokemon game. I really wanted to get Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, to be honest. The graphics, I really dig them. I really just sort of want to play that. But I just don't know, man. It's just they're doing a lot of the shit that I don't want them to do. It just seems like it's going to be like a half-assed Pokemon game for the casual people. So, 
I don't just want to play a game like that for the sake of it. But anyways, uh, that's my thoughts for E3. I'm looking forward to seeing some Bloodstained stuff. Uh, there should be some live streams uh, that are going to be coming if they didn't finish already. I live in Cyprus, so the whole time zone thing is kind of a, a tricky thing for me. But I don't think they should be up. Hopefully I see some cool stuff from there. But that's E3. If I had to describe E3 this year, it was kind of meh. And maybe alright if I'm being kind of generous. Uh, it was okay, but it wasn't really anything that blew my mind. Not a lot of uh, games interesting for me. Not a lot of uh, first party games in general. I guess Microsoft said that they're acquiring some studios. Actually, I'm kind of worried they got Team Ninja from what I heard. And I don't know how I feel about that. Man, if they bring out some good-ass Ninja Gaiden games and it's only on the Xbox, man, that, that, that sucks. But uh, that's how it is for you, I guess. But other than that, that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Show this to your friends. Subroll494. What's up?